Good evening, brothers, sisters, and gender norm resistors. It's time to get into the land of the lounge lizards with me, your host, Olaf. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, as I boy, as I said yesterday, we are going to be playing the Leisure Suit Larry games. Um, apparently, uh, apparently, YouTube has changed their policies a little bit. Uh, not so much as, oh no, you can't play those games or anything like that. Not, nothing, nothing bad like that, no. Um, just down to the point where, um... There, the Leisure Suit Larry games are not listed under the games that, uh, under their games section. So... Like, I have the category under gaming, but if I try and specify... If I try and specify Leisure Suit Larry... All I get, I get Leisure Suit Liana, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, because that has... Mafia Definitive Edition, Hugo's House of Horrors, you know, Le Leisure Suit Liana, I can kind of get. At least it does have Leisure Suit in the title, but it's like... Hugo's House of Horrors, Voyeur, Soft Porn Adventures, that's understandable, that was the basis, that was the original basis for uh, Leisure Suit Larry. Torrance Passage, Freddy Farkas, yeah, those are understandable because those were also our low games. And then a bunch of other stuff that's like, has nothing to do with Leisure Suit Larry, Leisure Suit's Disco, nothing. It is, it is actually kind of, it's, it's actually kind of mind-boggling, because I know, I know they used to have those listed. Because if I look at my, uh, if I look at my old stuff. So if I look at my older stuff, like Leisure Suit, uh... Yeah, like the, the, the Leisure Suit Larry, uh love for sale I do believe that was yeah that actually does have that actually they did allow me to put that down as the the game title and it is there it's actually still there which is kind of weird Yeah, I kind of want to know, um, yeah, how, how do you, how do they decide? How do they decide? Yeah, I don't get, like I said, I just, I don't get how they, how they can say, oh no. Uh, so yeah, we had it. The, the, it was totally a thing. It was totally a thing, but it's, it's not there anymore. It's like it was there, but now it's now there's there's no leisure. We, there is no leisure suit Larry stuff whatsoever anywhere on, you know, YouTube does not do leisure suit Larry. Oh, it's like really. It's like I don't I don't quite get their 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 system. I I really don't. I mean, as is you know. I mean, this is just one more thing. One more thing with YouTube that it's like. What the hell? What, what, what is this? What are you doing? Do you have any fucking clue what you're doing, YouTube? I, I, I would like to know. I mean, I'm gonna have to, I'm, I'm gonna have to find out. It's like, why, why are, you know, why... How is it decided what games they are and aren't going to list? I really don't, I really don't get that. It's personally, I find it very annoying. 
I find it very, very annoying. But anyway, uh, yes, we're gonna be playing Leisure Suit Larry 1, Land of the Lounge Lizard. So, uh, ooh, that is very bright. That is very, very bright. There we go. Okay. And that is very, very loud. Like, very loud. Like, wow, that is, that is, that is a loud intro. The Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizards may contain some element plots which may not be considered appropriate for some children. How old are you? I am four. I am between 40 and 65. Gee, that's funny. You look much older. Oh, thank you, Al. Thank you. Dick, to verify your age, please answer these five simple questions. Elizabeth Taylor is, uh... Talk show hostess. Bedtime for Bonzo starred Ronald Reagan. Yes, the president. Taxes should be... I had to think for a moment of, of where the target, uh, the moon is. All of the above. There's a moon pie. Now, oh, thank you, thank you, yes. Okay, so we did good. All right, let's lower that, that volume down. We do not need it anywhere near that loud. All right, so let's get into it. Yes, we can. Larry, the whole point of the game was to stop doing the. Oh, oh, I did not mean. Uh, I didn't mean like take matters into your own hands type of of thing, sir. That that is, that is not what I meant. Your wallet contains some wrinkled business cards, lots of notes, some credit cards, which won't work in this game. Thank you for the spoiler. And $94 in cash. Wow! That is a lot of money for this time period. Like, a lot of money. Yep, it's your breath spray. Gee, it's a genuine Bolex. Time is accurate, it's 10.01. See, now the music's gone, which is annoying. All right, so let's go into lefties, not righties, lefties. Oh, hey, here's music again. Large man sits beside the only woman in lefties. He's obviously thrilled at the sound of his own voice. Yes, yes, yes. And that is, uh... Hi there, lovely leg. My, you say casually, my name's Larry. Larry Laffer. Who cares? Stop bugging me. Or I'll have my boyfriend take care of you when he gets back from the restroom. Wait, this guy isn't your boyfriend? Looks like you're operating on your standard level of charisma, Larry. Hey, buddy, you shout to the man at the end of the bar. Is this the only place in town to find a little action? Hardly. Ain't you I never heard of taxi cabs? He has nothing to say, but says it continuously. Damn, they always ribbed on fucking Ken Williams, didn't they? And the customary moose head left over from King's Quest 3, apparently. Excuse me, is... 
Is by any chance your last name Spratt? Buzz off, Jack. Jack Spratt, whose wife could eat, whose Jack Spratt, who could eat no fat, and his wife could eat no lean. He continues to concentrate on his overweight buddy, leaving you with nothing else to do but find something else to do. Excuse me, buddy, how many stools are under there? Get off, get off, you buzz off. Yeah, or, uh, buzz off, jerk. <laughs> it's about to say jerk off, buzz. It's like, whoa, uh, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to avoid that. There's hardly anything in this game to look away from. I mean, most of the games, most of the games didn't have any kind of nudity in them. I do find it, like I said in the intro, though, I do find it funny that they are no, that the Leisure Suit Larry games are no longer actually listed. Uh, they're no longer listed in the the game in game titles for on YouTube, which is kind of weird. And we already have an Easter egg towards the end of the game. You don't know much about art, but you know what you like. Do they? Because I don't remember the newest ones having much in the way of nudity either. Like, it's still mostly L Larry Laffer, like, stumbling his way through shit. Now, the middle ones, the middle ones that were post-Sierra, but before they, before the, the latest reboots, I know they... Which game are you, which game are you talking about there, Grotto? I don't... Like I said, depending on which which set of which set of reboots are you talking about? I now have a rose. Okay, well, see, that's the thing is technically um Magna Cum Loud and such were not actually made by Sierra. Those were the those were into the Activision era where they were still kind of using the Sierra name. So like I said, there's been a series of like attempts to reboot and revitalize the series. Hey, Shani, I was about you and me have a little drink. Hello there, Eevee Hero. I may have to replay those because I know I played those once. I know I played the the Wet Dreams Don't Dry and Wet Dreams Dry twice. I've played those before, but I don't remember like, oh yeah, it was like full on graphics, you know, graphic nudity and stuff. It's like they were always they were always kind of, you know, they've they've always kind of been like, well, we'll show the action, but we won't show like the detailed action. Uh, I I think I, I uh, sir I think we are um I I think we're fine thank you right look in here why look some woman removed her diamond ring to wash her hands and forgot to take it with her yoinkers got it you briefly consider an attempt to find the ring's owner but return to your normal self and pocket it instead. Yeah, Magna Cum Loud and Box Office Bust were, those were not, those were not Leisure Suit Larry games. Those were his nephew who just also happened to be named Larry and yeah, they were not good. They, they were not good.
Alright, I realized something. I should probably say, uh... Should probably save because we're gonna... You grab an ancient copy of Ball Street Journal and settle in to sit and think. Scott me up, be me! Attention arcade game players, please do not eat the urinal cakes. Why would anybody do that? And if you didn't want them eaten, you should never name them cakes. It takes leather balls to play rugby. See, I disagree with that, Gamers Grotto. They did exist, and they should always exist as an example of how to, how, what not to do if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to fuck up a series, learn from these. Say, so, hey, here's an interesting one. The password is Ken sent me. Okay. You wipe and toss the newspaper behind the toilet for the, wait. Did you wipe with the newspaper and then toss it behind the toilet for the next user? Have you been using the, to the, the newspaper that everybody has been using as toilet paper? I have so many questions. So yes, now we know that Ken sent it. Jeez, did some die in there? Yes, my dignity, wait, no, this is Larry. Dignity has, his dignity was stillborn. Hey, dog! You got some toilet paper stuck out of your shoe. No hide, no I hide, no go hide. Yeah, what's the password? No, I, I know the, oh, wait. Oh, okay, so they actually put that in our inventory as, right. Yeah, with the password, Ken sent me. You know, the fat bastard over there with the mustache that's yammering on and won't stop. Yeah, he sent me. Come on in. And that is not a moose head, that is a full ass moose. And you thought the moose head over the lefty's bar was stuffed. Well, you can't see his backside. He might be stuffed. Or she. She might be stuffed. Hi! You got no business going up these stairs, little man. $200. $200 up front. Even in that day and age, $200 was exorbitant. So yes, see there's uh there's there's yes, there are two windows high above you. The left window near the fire escape has a dim yellow light. The other window is dark. There may be something on the sill of the dark window, but you can't quite make it out from down all the way down here. Yes, there is definitely there is definitely something there. You can It's not that difficult to see, Larry. Jeez. Yo, taxi! Vowing to hold your breath forever, you make this, you enter this miserable excuse for public transportation. Jesus. Where to, buddy? As he starts rolling the beat. Oh, so you're not even gonna. F Where's the action? Look for action, hot. Huh? This town is full of it. Literally. We got a disco full of foxes at this time of night. Then there's the casino next to the all-night wedding chapel. And we got a lovely bar, but you already been there. Me, I like the convenience store next to the disco. But of course, that's just personal preference. Why do you like the... Why is the... Why is the convenience store the go-to place for you as far as, like, entertainment?
That does not make any sense. Um, let's hit the casino first. You got it, Mac. Three MTA three. I'm not sure what that means. Wait, that's eighteen dollars. Wait, it says five fifty one. Thanks, buddy. Maybe you see me sometime. Whew, get the hell out of there. It stinks. Well, hello. You're... Wait, it's not a guy in a trench coat. It's two midgets in a trench coat. They have nothing to hide. What a town! So yes, we have a wedding chapel! Well, that's just... lovely. Fucking soft borders. I hate soft borders. Have I ever mentioned how much I hate soft borders? Uh... Dude? Hey, buddy. How's your pippin'? 10,000 comedians out of work in this town. All right, fine. Fine. An apple for 10 bucks? I will buy an apple for 10 bucks. Please call again whenever you're in the neighborhood. Yeah, but can you get a bigger barrel next time? I'm pretty sure if you have any pubic hair whatsoever, I'm pretty sure I can see it. Like, that is, that is, that is not hiding much. That is, that is really not hiding much. Like, I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty sure I should be seeing a treasure trail there. You can remember when blackjack was played at real at a real table with real dealer. Now all you see are video machines. Of course, we've got slots because who doesn't like slots? Slots are fun, right? That's like pretty much all that everything is these days is fucking. I mean, I can I can respect that. You know, I mean, we. Around here, around where I live, you can't even have a casino. You cannot have a casino. But there's plenty of video, video, uh, uh, video, quote unquote, video arcade places where, oh yeah, you can absolutely gamble your money away. So what I... Lost Wages Disco. Admit one member and guest. Remember, every Monday is ladies' night. Well, pardon me while I pick out my fuck me pumps and uh, get some free drinks. You discover these dancers may not be the girls you thought they were. Oh! Oh! You know, I'm I'm so not getting into that that I'm not getting into that 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 thing. But I mean, that is, you know, that's I I've always been I, I don't know. I've always kind of been a little confused as to how the Leisure Suit Larry creators and stuff kind of how they they approach stuff like transgenderism and stuff like that. It's like at one point it's like, "Oh no, this is horrible." And then it's like, "Well, no, we really can't say that it's horrible. It's it's not bad. So, wait, where where oh, oh. Uh okay, nothing. Nothing. Woo, you're dizzy. I can't imagine why. It's spinning like a top, baby. Okay, so four is where the little heart thing is.
Is there anything else of note here? Oh, yes, yes there is. See, and even in the original, even in the original, it, even in the original version of this game, it was very important to look at the women so that you could actually see like their their higher resolution, uh, their high resolution uh, pictures. Her hair is thick and beautiful, falling in cascades around her shoulders. Hi, uh, baby, I think I loves you. May I help you in some way, sir? She says in a pleasant but business-like tone. Well, maybe. My name's Larry, Larry Laffer. <laughs> Say, Larry, is that a roll of dimes in your pocket or are you just glad to see me? Yes. The answer is yes. Hey, sweetheart, what's your sign? Exit. Try using it. Ooh. What's your name, beautiful? Faith. Now, all of the names, if I remember right, all of the names in this one are kind of like actually related to the girls in... Like, Faith is very faithful. Hmm, unusual name. I'm only in town for one night. How about we get together when you get off duty? Oh, I could never be unfaithful to my boyfriend, see? This is gonna require some outside assistance. I do not like the, uh, I don't like the sound of that, personally. All right, let's go all the way back down. We are very obviously gonna need some money. So, all right, um, bet. What's the maximum I can bet? What is the, oh, 66, okay. Deal, three, three, split them. That's a five, that's a 15. Ah, uh, fine. That's 13. That's a 17. You know what? Stan. Okay, fine. All right. Yes, I know that. All right. Now we're going to save because we're going to, we're, 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 it's, it's, it's all about just saving Dealing, boom, boom, so that's what, 17 stand? Dealer wins. Wow, okay. Dealer's kind of a dick. Deal. All right, that's 10, hit 20, stand. Shoot! Yes, so I just, yes, yes. So now we max out our bet again. Save and steal, motherfucker. So that's what, nine? 14, oh, fuck you, fuck you. God, that's what, uh, 17? Yeah, 17. 17! Stand. Dealer wins! Of course he does. Dealer has blackjack! Fuck you! I mean, you see how many times we lose... It's like there's, it, that is just the, the common sense thing to do. If 
I can get a 10 here. Alright, 11. Dealer busted! That means we win. Thank you. Oh, there is no cap on, on, on how much you can bet. It's all based on how much money you put in the machine. Alright, cool. Uh, yes, deal. 15 hit. Busted. Load him up. Deal. 20 stand. See, See again. I had a fucking 20. I had a fucking 20. And he got a tw And he got a blackjack. Holy shit. Yeah. By the way, most most casino games are rigged against the players. Even, you know, even if you're talking like, oh no, like, oh hey, the most simplistic game of all, you think that it's a fifth, you know, even if it's something that's like, oh no, you have a, you know, if you play well, if you know what you're doing, you're going to take the casino. No, the casinos are always slighted to win. They always have an advantage. If they didn't have an advantage... They wouldn't stay in business. See, um, well, see, uh, Trump casinos. 19? Wait, what if I say... Hit! Oh, shit, no, I wanted to... It wouldn't matter! It wouldn't matter! So I was, I was fucked either way. That's 13, 14, 15... Fifteen. Stand! Seventeen. Fuck you! Oh, god damn it. If I had hit, it would have been something like a... Oh, wow. Fifteen. Damn. Dealer wins! Of course he does! Of course the motherfucking dealer wins. Dealer always wins. Twenty! I have a 20. It's a push. They still couldn't let me win with a fucking 20. Blackjack, bitch. Fuck you. Ooh, and I won 1.5 what I bet. I don't remember how much money we need to have, but I do know we need to have a shit ton of money. 20! Yes! Give me, oh my god, over a thousand dollars? Over a thousand dollars in like the late 70s, early 80s? Are you kidding me? That's, that is not walking around money. That is, that is... That is, you could probably put down a, you could probably put down a pretty good pa down payment on a house or a car at least with that money. In this era. 17, Stan! Of course he does. Dealer wins because you've been winning too much, sir. 20! Oh, yeah! 5,000! $5, $5,000! I have over $5,000! Congratulations, you've broken the house limit. Which means everything over the house limit is just lost. Like, I had 5,280, which means I should have had $5,560 paid out. Or, no, 10,000. 10, sorry, $10,560 paid out to me. But no, they're going to keep 500 and that 560 over because fuck you, house limits. This machine only contains 10,000 bullshit. If it can take $10,000 at the beginning of my play, it should have more than 10,000. It should actually have $10,096? No, $10,060 some odd dollars. 
But if people kept losing to it, then it should it should accumulate money. So no, you're I I do not accept I do not accept your excuses, sirs. Fine, I'll take my I'll take my money and leave. But like you look what like one crazy lady. Taxi! Where do I go where to, buddy? I would like to go to the convenience store. I don't know what is so convenient about the convenience store, but uh, I, I would like to go there. No, oh, I just remembered. I just rem Fourteen bucks, buddy. Twinkies, Wallow Wars, Loritos, various colas, sheep, white, and coffee. You don't see anything you really need in this part of the store. Lovers for sale, just as clack. Oh, yeah, the, 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 oh, wow, the, the race, the, 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 the racial insensitivity here. Hi, buddy. Whoa. Larry, no possessions in this game, goddammit. Looking around to make certain you are alone, you quietly ask the clerk if he has any lubbers available. And all of a sudden, all the cameras stop and just look at me. Sure, we got lubbers. Obviously, you hit the area of his expertise. What kind of lemons you want? Latex, because lambskin is poor, is more porous, and I mean, admittedly, it is better if somebody has a latex allergy, but um, latex, uh, ribbed, it's it's uh, colored. Can you make it a nice fuchsia? What kind of stuff is you, uh, lubricated, lubricated, because Larry certainly is not going to be turning anybody on. What pattern you want? Pa pattern? What the fuck? Pa uh, plaid. I am, I am of Scottish descent. Plaid, yes, please. Peppermint or sp why not winter mint? Winter mint is just as good as either of these. Peppermint. What weight you want? Um, I am probably going to be having sex with a prostitute at some point tonight. From the size of heavy. What thickness you industrial? Weapon thanks you spermicide. What size you want? Uh, gi giant. <laughs> Hello there, Fraskalin. Oh my God, this might not be the good. That's this might not be the best game. This not might not be the the best series to to watch while you're on a conference call. <laughs> Giant. Okay, talking, okay, Mister. Hey everybody! This weirdo just bought a heavyweight industrial gauge peppermint flavored plaid, lubricated colored, libbed, latex, spermicidal, small size lubber. I did try to warn you. I did try to warn you, ass. Rude! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> oh, <sh> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Six dollars for one rubber. Thanks a lot, Saddam. Have a nice day. 
weirdly topical. Hey, Mr. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This guy is like not. Ooh. 555-6969. Five, 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 six, nine, six, nine. Looks like above the looks like a man that could abuse a drink. Are you talking like spanking the drink? Have a drink, honey. I I don't. I'm gonna guess you're like a wino. I mean, most most bums are depicted as winos, right? Yo, taxi. I do not want to go into the disco. Qu actually, I think I actually do have everything I need for the disco, but I'm not ready for the disco. Where to, Mister? Uh, I I would like to uh, I would like to go to Lefty's Bar. You got it, Mac. By the way, no, I spray spray your. Uh, I was wanting you to freshen your breath, but never mind. Yeah. We want dollars. But again, I, I don't know how the money works in this. I don't know how these meters work. All right, so we're going to save real quick. Let's Let's save real quick. Because we have to visit some of the death scenes. We have to visit some of the, like the punk that just like beats the crap out of us if we go down the wrong, do, go around down the wrong alleyway. Oh shit! Wait, uh, L Larry, are you? I think Larry was kicking his own ass there. Larry, when are you gonna learn to stay out of these dark alleys? Hey guys, he screwed up again. Dump this one down the tubes and get him another body. And this is one of the beautiful things that was actually in both versions, both the original and the new version. So yes, they like, they blend Larry Laffer up and there's a female body down here that's like, ooh, hey, maybe we could make something. Ooh, they really mince him up. They like fully liquefy him. And you got the, 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 the actual theme song in reverse. Nice touch, nice touch. And boom, here is a new Laffa. Raise him up. On a piece of metal that looks like, on a piece of concrete that looks very familiar. Now you know what happens, what we have to go through every time you press restart. Yes, I do. I will never press restart on you, baby. Okay, Larry, can we speed things up a little bit? I, I don't need you to go like fucking apeshit insane here with the speed, but come on. Fine, I'll sit down first. Like seriously, Larry, speed it up. Yo, bartender, I would like a whiskey. I'll have a glass of your fine, well, well whiskey is never fine whiskey. And it's, woo. That'd be five dollars. You don't drink the whiskey, but you decide to carry it with you whenever, wherever you go. Precariously balanced in an open shot glass. Ba 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 Cause Thursday's your night in the barrel. Ha ha ha, Kent, that is the oldest. So yes, anytime you are carrying alcohol, never get in a taxi. Here's, here's, here. We'll, we'll actually, we'll, we'll. We will give a prime example of that. We will give a prime example. Hello, taxi! Oh, taxi! Hi. 
Fighting ever. Oh, yeah, yada, 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 yada. Hey, buddy, where to? Um. Oh, he doesn't steal your. Oh, he only he only goes for wine. Okay. Okay, he only goes for wine. Good to know. I I thought it was any alcohol. It's only wine. Never go into the cab with wine in your hand. That is that is the lesson. Gotcha. But wait, I already had I picked up the rose. I picked up the rose, goddammit. Take the rose. Alright. Give this dude the whiskey. Uh, hey, buddy, you said you wanted to drink, right? It was only a shot. Ah! Ah, it's a You know, you must be my only friend the whole world. Sure, I'm gonna give you my only push. My only push. My only poshness. My only possessions. All I got in the world. Yeah, that's possession. Besides, what's the guy like me do with a television remote control? A remote control, you say? Well, now that is interesting. That is very interesting, actually. Because the one thing they did have in here, uh, I I don't have the um. Wait, what happened to the what 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 happened to the what? Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa. What happened to uh what happened to oh Oh motherfucker Oh motherfucker Okay hang on hang on hang on hang on Restore the auto save Oh, there was no autosave. Oh my god! Oh my god, I was an idiot! I was a moron! I was an absolute dingus! Because we restarted, because we restarted, oh, wait, no, no, I didn't load after we died, so that was like a restart and then I saved over all of our progress. Oh my god, I am a fucking dingus and a half. I am an idiot! <laughs> yeah. Okay. You do that. Alright. Uh, wedding ring. Check. Sit down on the toilet. Forget the, forget the, the, the. Yes, okay. Oh my God, I cannot believe I fucking did that. I cannot believe I didn't think, I, I forgot to fucking reload. <sighs> Yo, the tea. All right, so we know that the gal up in the penthouse, guarding the penthouse, is, you know, is is very much like, oh no, nope, nope, nope. Uh, it's like kind of like, no, no, no. I am faithful. My name is Faith. Therefore, I am faithful. I still can't believe I fucking did that. Like, oh my god, I am a... Alright, so yes, we got that. Alright, let's, uh... We put all our money into it. Let's bet all our money. Save deal, that's a five, that's a six, seven, 14. It's a 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, stand. Dealer busted. We win. Hallelujah. I'm surprised. That was actually a lot faster than last time, than the la last, last win. Deal. 13. 19. Oh, yeah. We're doing all right. We are actually doing pretty good in, on this run. Like, oh, my God. Why couldn't it have been this easy that last time? Now, this feels more natural. Oh, yeah, there we go. Like, whatever you got, the, the dealer is going to have one more. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If you stood, if you, if you, if you hit, you lost. Dealer busted. Good. Oh man, they are they they are they are they, wait, no. Yeah. Mm, wait. No, no. It's because they only have ten thousand stand. It's a push. Hit. Fuck you. Oh god. Deal. Forties. Twenty. Oh, yes. There we go. Yeah. Again, a pretty good a pretty good starting payment on a car, especially if we're still in the 70s. Nineteen. And, of course, the dealer got 21. I'm surprised they didn't just give the fucking dealer a blackjack, honestly. Like, they, they tend to be kind of... They tend to be kind of dicks as far as this shit goes. Damn. Dealer wins! Of course he does, because hey, you know, if I were gonna hit on something like that, you would've totally fucked me. Oh my god. This is this is the feeling that I get when in a real ca casino. Like, oh no, like you you're not going to win. You're there is more than a 50% chance that you're not going to win. There really is. There's a more than a 50% chance. That, if they were going to leave things up to if they were going to leave things up to chance, purely up to chance. If chance was not in their favor. Blackjack motherfuckers. Fucking pay me, bitch. Yeah, if they were gonna, if they were not going to, if they were not going to have the, 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 uh, the, the odds, uh, if they weren't odds on favor to win, they would close up. Of course, dealer just happens to have hit 20, exactly 21. Holy shit. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, they're gonna take, they're gonna keep so much extra money from us this time. They're gonna keep so much extra money from us. You bastards. Boom. Boom. Pay me, or well, don't pay me because you're a bunch of cheap ass motherfuckers. Okay, 
could, yeah, you should be paying me twelve thousand dollars, not ten. Oh no, this is this is the game that shall not be named on YouTube anymore. Apparently, you cannot name. You cannot actually set your the game that you are playing to leisure to any Leisure Suit Larry. The closest you can get is to Leisure Suit Liar Liana. And then, it, and then for some reason, it suggests, like, fucking Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Which I have no idea how the fuck it goes from, like, Leisure Suit Liana, skips over all of the Leisure Suit Larry games, and then says, Hey, Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. If they had said Vice City, I could see it, because at least they wear suits. They were kind of like, they, they kind, I mean, they don't necessarily wear leisure suits, but they kind of have that like, oh yeah, like suits with the sleeves rolled up, like, you know, the Mi Miami Vice type thing. It's like, yeah, I can see that. All right, I, I'm cool with that. I have an apple, again. Hey, I need a, I, 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 I need a, uh, y yes, I need, uh, I need to go to the convenience store, sir. I don't know, I, I always appreciate this version of Larry than, the, from, from, like, the, the, the original, I mean, the, the first games were always a little sketchy and short. If I, if, if I'm going to be honest, I always thought that they were a little, they were a little sketchy, drawn, and a little short. Like, uh, hello? Fresh nib Lovers. Yo, I need something for my, I, I need something, I need something like uh, plasticky to put on my cock. Oh, where he commits suicide? I don't remember that one, actually. I don't remember that. Uh, guess. Sure, we got llamas. Okay. Uh, latex. Ribbed, because those are better, right? Wait, is it ribbed? Uh, I want it colored. Let's go with lubricated, cause I uh, striped or plaid. Let's go plaid. Always go plaid. Pep. I prefer peppermint over spearmint. Weight heavy. Thickness industrial. Spermicide. Yes, please. Uh, Gonzo. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's. Hey, there was nobody in this store before. Where'd all these at? Wait, isn't that the guy? Is, isn't that Jones? Isn't that Jones from Jones of the Fast Lane? What the fuck is he doing here? Except for he had like brown hair instead of uh, black hair instead of red hair, but either way, it doesn't matter. What the fuck is he doing here? He should not be here. Get in your own goddamn game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't got no wine, asshole. Fuck, so fuck off. I ain't got no change, neither. Oh, where you wanna go, buddy? I want to go back to Lefty's bar. I'd say there's a lot of, there are a lot of death scenes and I'm, I am so not going through and collecting death scenes this playthrough. Much like with the Space Quest games and stuff like that, I'm not going through and collecting death scenes. I did that in my original playthrough of 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 these games, so Yeah. But now that we have a condom, we should have no problems banging a prostitute. Just a friendly, uh, uh, a friendly educational note, everybody. 
even if you're going to, just because you have a condom does not mean you can bang some prostitute that is apparently in the back room of the back room of a skeezy bar. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah, what's the password? Ken sent me. Again, fat bastard. White shirt, blue jeans, shitty mustache. He sent me. Come on in. So yes, the pimp wants $200, but... Oh, wait. Uh, I thought we had... Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is the remote control? We were supposed... Uh, I know I picked up that room. I, I, he gave me his remote control. I know he gave me his room. I gave him a shot of fucking boo. Did I not pick it up? Did I just not pick up? The, did I have to pick up the remote control? That's fucking what? Fine, I'm loaded. I have over ten thousand dollars. I could buy a fucking house at this point. Well, maybe not in like lost wages, but dude, seriously, stop showing me your ass. And Ken, I don't fucking care. Good. Dude, you got a rat on your head. Again. There you go. Drink up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your your only possession. So where is the where's the remote? Where what Where's the remote? I I'm sorry. Uh, where's where's the remote? I he's supposed to give me a remote, right? Again, Ken, I don't give a fuck. Kindly piss off. Yeah, 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 you can, you can, any night you want, any day or night you want, you can stick your dick in a barrel and get a blowjob, except for Thursdays, because Thursdays, you're a night in the barrel. I've heard that joke a million times, even before this fucking game. So yeah, where the fuck, where, where the hell is the, ro okay, so I give you this booze, right? Uh-huh. Hey, those spies. You must be my only friend the whole world. So I'm going to give you my only possession. My only possession. My only possession. The only doll I got in the world. Besides, what's a guy like me need with the TV remote control? Oh! You actually gave it to me that time. What did I do differently? What did I do differently this, that time as opposed to the times before? What, wait? Not like, say, okay, well, give it to me, bitch. No, I, mmm. Ken sent me. Moan in. All right, so, Mr. Pimp, I am not paying 200 door. I'm not paying $200. For some skeezy chick you have upstairs that's like banged half the bar. Not doing it, alright? I'm not, I'm not. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright. Oh, John. Oh, Marsha. Oh, John. Oh, Marsha. Oh, John! Oh, Marsha! Oh, John! 
Oh, Masha. Yeah, boring ass soap opera. Fuck him. No. Change the channel. Well, hello, friend. This is your old buddy Tom Bidet over at Motel 69. If you're driving down the highway a lie towards old lost wages and Mr. Sleepy sitting on your dashboard throwing dust in your eyes. I don't know. That's, I mean, that, that might lull him to sleep, right? And now, uh, Al O'Hara Productions is proud to present the revenge of the software developers in full color and stereo sound. A boring musical? A musical comedy? Really? That doesn't sound like a musical. That sounds like a sci-fi, like, fucking, oh, yeah, get in it, boys. Uh, while Jim is fighting for his life with the raging female rhinoceros, I, I, in heat, oh, wow, a female, a raging female rhinoceros in heat. I'll slip into my tent with the native girl and this picture of my ties. That's a guy after my own heart. It's like, yeah, you deal with the you deal with the rampaging, you know, the the rampaging beast on four big ass legs with a fucking sword coming out of its face. I'm gonna drink and get laid by the native girl. Oh, God! It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be? Can't you be? Won't you be my neighbor? Oh, yes, I grew up watching Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I absolutely grew up watching Mr. Na Rogers' Neighborhood. And, yeah, it was kind of that, 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 oh, no, anything but that. A Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood would probably delight the pip. He'd be like, oh, hey, you know what? Oh, shit. Live from Malaga, California, it's the Cable Sports Network presentation of the men's or female mud wrestlers. 500 kilometer cross country nude bicycle. What the fuck is all that? Really? Nude bicycling. Nude bicycling. Nude like mud wrestling bicyclers. No, uh, uh, he's uh, he's mild. He's a little. Itch. He's mildly impressed. Very mildly. And next. Masterpiece Theater presents in special 3D broadcast of Nogahai the Goddess of Oakhurst. Dude, you named your bar you named you named your night you no, you named your, your your speakeasy brothel after this. Oh baby, yeah! Yeah, I love it when you do that. Oh, that's so good. Pull it out a little, pull it out a little deeper. I'm sorry, give me a moment here, give me a moment here. Unless you're talking about somebody who has a sheath that they need to pull it out of in order to get it in deeper into you, that doesn't work, my that 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 that, that, that doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense. What the fuck? Oh, but it's got the pimp's attention apparently. Uh, yeah. Do something about that breath of yours. 
Hey, dude, out of the way. All right, I'm out your way. I'm out your way. Yes, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're Banaka or, um, Ooh, candy. There's a box of candy on the hooker's table. Probably get from some admirer, you suppose. Yo, can I take the... No, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I tell you to take your coat? I told you to take the bucket and box of candy. Now? No, I, I want to look at her. I would like to look at her. Uh, actually, you know what? If I remember right, no, I, I would really, no, no. Ooh. Larry, Larry, Larry. Bye, can I, oh, oh. I mean, look, I, you know. Hmm. She certainly seems to enjoy that kind of guess, but the with the way she grinds her teeth, do not ask her for a blowjob. Do not ask her for a beach. Just don't. Do your do your Johnson a favor. Do not ask somebody who has a fixation with chewing gum to give you a beach. They're gonna bite it. Hi, uh, so you guys just gonna stand there or what? Uh, I'm gonna take your chocolates? Yes, I'm gonna take your chocolates. Now I will, uh, strip, strip, strip down. Strip, uh, you are butt-ass naked. Oh no, his butt is showing. How scandalous. Yep, this would be the perfect time. Your general, your surgeon general is proud. Not to mention your local, uh... Not to mention your local um, um, uh, Planned Parenthood. Um, at least 75% of doctors, 99% of doctors who aren't Catholic, um, yes. Now then, Larry, do -ha! Okay, did you guys, like, why did you flip, like, long ways? Like, just roll, you know, if she wants to be on top, just roll over. Not, you don't have to, like, flip all the way. Jaws. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Larry has had sex. Although successful, you feel less than satisfied. Technically speaking, you're no longer a virgin, but for some reason, the thrill just wasn't there. You vow to continue your next, your quest until you are pleased with your heart, not just your other organs. I mean, come on now, I, the, the other organs. You know, Stu, or Gamers, Grotto, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. So, yes, uh, good thing you were wearing your raincoat. Yes. Good idea. You carefully remove your lubber and dispose of it in a way that, can, that will not be described here. I don't see a garbage can. I, I don't see, I don't see anything that would be like where you would normally dispose of a... I do not see anywhere that you would dispose of a condom. Oh no, I I don't want to get busted by the cops. I have done I did that on my I did that on my let's on, on my my recorded playthrough. I can't go out the window because I don't I don't have the I I don't have the ribbon yet. You don't get the ribbon. 
You don't get, but you don't have the ribbon or the hammer to smash the window. You need a ribbon to 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 bounce to 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 hang from the 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 railing and a ha and the hammer to smash the window in order to get the little jar of uh, whatever is there. This isn't a, this is this is this is in various different ways there is yeah there's there are drastically different things to do. I mean, it's not like this guy's gonna be like, oh, hey, you can't come back. No, you can't come back. It's like, dude, you're, yeah. Yo, can send me. Yeah, I mean, there's, 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 oh, wait, oh, wait, no, no. Actually, you might be right. Yes, because there is like uh Is it is it is it is it in the is it in the 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 dumpster that you get the hammer? Actually, that might be where you get the hammer. Yes, the left-handed hammer. Okay, okay, yeah, you are right, Stu, you, you, you're right. There was one little thing that we needed there, and that was the left-handed hammer, which will come in ha- Wait, how- How would you- How would you- I- I don't understand how you would use a left-handed hammer if you're hanging, like, from your left side. You're hanging there, it's like, you're gonna be using your right hand, though, so- a left-hand hammer would not be good. I've learned that much from from uh, from Day of the Tentacles. You know, your right per a right-handed person cannot use a left-handed hammer. It doesn't work. All right, I want to go to um uh the disco. Right, gotta go to the disco. Gotta go to the disco because now we have the rose, the candy, and the diamond ring to like woo this lady. For 14. How do you judge how much money I owe? How? Alright, uh, oh shit. Right, I gotta go. Excuse me for just a moment, sir. I, I. Oh, god damn it. Nope. I, I, mm. It's the casino that has, it's the casino where we get the car to get into the disco. Right. Of course, it can't be just right there. <laughs> right? It's like, yeah, it's like, oh, wait a second. No, no, no. That's right. This and then this and then that and the. All right. Ah. Let's go get the disco pass. See, I was, I was a big ass dummy. I was, I was like a gargantuan idiot earlier. I, uh, I actually, I, I had gotten to the point where I'd gotten the casino pass, I got all the money and all of that stuff, went back to the lefty's bar, went into the alleyway, saw the death scene that had, like, Larry recycled, and like a fucking moron, I actually saved after that recycling instead of loading and going back to before I, di I, I pulled the fucking dis di the dipshit move. <sighs> <laughs> I 
Oh, come on. Rage is good. Rage is healthy. Holy shit. How fucking far? Wait, you, you, you charged me 14 or 16 to get there and... $20 now to get out? They are so fucking... Oh! You up out your borrowed membership card. I'm pretty sure those are your testicles, but okay. And lay it on them! Yeah, again, I'm pretty sure those are your testicles, Larry. Don't do that. Hey, go little boy. Oh, here you go, little buddy. You tell the Bowser. I'll just go in now, okay? I, uh, goodness, sirs. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you sooner. Please, uh, come right on in. And every- oh, there's Al himself, I do believe. Hello, my, that Al Lowe is a stunningly handsome man. Even though he has next to no hair, and is trying to make up for it by a big bushy beard. Uh, n no, no, sir. The proceeding was a paid editorial message. Not surprising. Perhaps you should sit with her. Well, let's, yes. May I join you? Why am I coming apart? That did not deserve that drum set. Thank you. Hello, beautiful. Hi, baby. What do you say you and I, me get it on? Oh, yes. Uh, we are going to do all of the Leisure Suit Larrys made by, C well, made by Sierra before the Activision acquisition. So everything up to, but not including, uh, Magna Cum Laude or uh, the, the uh, Hollywood or Bust. The, yeah, the, the... We're not dealing with the fucking cousin. We, we are not dealing with the nephew. We are dealing with Larry Laffer. Yes, box office bust. We're not fucking with that shit. Yeah. Uh, now, we may, we may, depending on how, uh, how, how much we can detail how, uh, what they look like and what is shown... Um, I am thinking we are going to go to the fan, you know, the more fan created stuff like uh, wet dreams don't dry and wet dreams dry twice. Um, I think we may go ahead and do those. I'm uh, that's that's what I'm thinking anyway. I you know I I I'm trying to remember the time period where those came out and how much that was like if they were trying to if, if I. I kind of get the impression they were trying to, to capitalize on the McLovin name um, from what what was it super bad that was, it was yeah it was McLovin. Yeah, it was it was it was a stupid ass name. It's like yeah. But of course, because they had Leisure Suit Larry, it was part, it was a Leisure Suit Larry, so they had to name him Larry. And because it wasn't, you know, because Larry Laffer never had any kids, canonically, they had to come up with some bullshit name. It was, yeah, it was stupid. It was... The AO version of, of Bandicoot? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Hey, baby. What do you say you me get it on? Kid lots creep. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. A lady like you should be romance. Oh, you're so sweet. I just love roses. Oh, adults only? I would imagine they probably show more. 
I mean, I, I will say I have played Magna Cum Laude uh, all the way through, and that game was a lot more... That, that game was a lot more... Um, It was a lot more raunchy and a lot less sophisticated. I can't believe I'm saying this about a, about Al Lowe and Leisure Suit Larry, but it was not as sophisticated as the stuff that he made. That is, oh my god, that is, that is, that is kind of terrifying to say, honestly. It's like, yes, he, it was, it was not as... It was not as sophisticated. It was a lot more like Animal House. It was a lot more Porky's than Animal House. It 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 really was. It was yeah. It was it was a lot more Porky's than Animal House. I mean, Animal House showed tits a cup of a couple of times, but it's like it wasn't like. Oh yeah, we're we're going to be completely just like, you know, all about the childish adult humor. I mean, I will say I will say Porky's was amusing, but it was a lot more of the the childish adult humor than Animal House. Like I said, Porky's was all about, I mean, how can we make sex funny? How can we make sex amusing? That was, that was, that, that was Porky's. At least, you know, Animal House was like, no, no, no. Here's the underdogs in a college game in a college setting and go from there rather than just like oh hey um yeah do whatever you gotta do for sex Activision treated everybody in uh, everybody at Sierra like shit uh, they did they fucking they 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 yeah, exactly. There's there's a prime example. The 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 Bluto's like, oh zip, <clears throat> oh you motherfucker, food fight. And it's just like, yeah, just yeah. It was it was you know the whole Niedermeyer, you know, um, um, hard on for being in the ROTC because that means he's got to be in the military. You know, oh I'm practically military by in, being in the ROTC. It's like. Not really, no. The ROTC doesn't have much to do with the fucking military guy. Hate to be the one to bring it to you, but no, that really has nothing to do with the fucking military. <laughs> ah. Despite what some real life characters recently would have want you would want you to think, yeah. All right, so yes, you just love roses. Hey, I also have some chocolate. Seems you like being romance. Oh, you're so sweet. I just love candy. Yes, what is your name, by the way? Octagonal, like as in stop. My name's Larry. La Say, Larry, is that a piss dispenser in your pocket or are you just lonely? Yes. Because Pez... Pez is strangely better than those stupid little chalky fucking Valentine hearts, and you can get Pez gear round, so fuck you. Pez is awesome, bitch. What's your name? Fawn! So you want me to fawn over you, like, with gifts and stuff like that? Hey, I tell you what, baby. I just, I just, let's get married. So fun, have I given you enough presents that you want to dance with me? Oh my god, Larry, if you have to pay her to dance with you, she is she better be fucking stripping out that fucking blue dress. Cause otherwise, dude, you just got fucking played. But of course, Larry, you should have asked sooner. I I I I, di I didn't I didn't know!
I didn't know. All right, let's pop up the music. Oh, maybe we shouldn't because this might, this might actually be uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive. Uh, That, 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 that might be, uh, that, that might be a little, uh, hmm. I mean, sure, it is Beethoven, but it is kind of, if it is very much the, the Bachman Turner Overdrive disco version of, of it. So, I mean, yeah. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, um, um. BTO did a a disco version of Bachman Turner Overdrive. That's actually what's in. Uh, that's actually what's played in um, Mystery Men. All right. F so sit down, then. Yeah, fucking. No, it's Bachman Turner. I'm pretty sure it was Bachman Turner Overdrive. Pretty sure it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it's Rollover Beethoven. Uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive did a version of Rollover Beethoven uh, that was, yeah, that had that, 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 the disco style to it. Okay, so, so, okay, what I was thinking of was actually a more modern version of it, kind of like a, more, more of a, like a modern blending. It was actually, Walter Murphy originally did the, a fifth of Beethoven. Okay, so yeah, it was a fifth of Beethoven was done by Walter Murphy, and then Bachman Turner Overdrive later on did a, uh, a, a more modern version of that. Um... So yeah, Walter Murphy did it in 1976, and I'm and I'm willing to bet that's probably what they based this off base that off of because yeah, it was it's just you know, Leisure Suit Larry's a disco man. He is a disco kind of guy. He is just like that. Oh yeah, disco don't die because. I mean, uh, I, 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 I don't know how disco doesn't die. I really don't know how disco doesn't die. I don't. It should. It should be long dead by now. But yeah, it was like, yeah, it was very much that. That is the style of it. It's like, oh, they, they, they got to go with the, the disco style. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is, uh... Uh, that, that that is a uh, whoa! What the fuck just happened in the background there? What the shit? So uh, a uh, fine. I will look at her. Oh, you're so sweet. I just love you, Larry. I want to make wild. I want you to make wild, passionate love to me. Oh. Uh, oh man, really wild, passionate. Pa Does it have to be both wild and passionate? Can it be one or the other? Cause I'm, I'm. Oh, the broken, the broken. Oh, child of the eighties. Oh yes. So yeah, um. The Broken Sword series. Oh my God! It, those, the modern day, the modern day, the first modern day game is so much easier than than previous ones because you don't have the whole goat problem as the go whole goat problem is as bad as it is. 
I will say, I think it's the fourth game in the Broken Sword series that is like, they have tank controls. It's more... It's a bit more kind of the controls are very much more Tomb Raider than point and click, which does take away from that, that series. So, i just given you a fair warning. Uh, yeah, the fourth one is not the greatest. I think that was where I quit doing them. I was, I was trying to do a full series of the, uh, the, the Broken Sword series, and it's like, I got to the one with the tank controls, and I'm like, I can't fucking do it. I fucking, like, oh no, this is, this is worse. This is so much worse than, like, uh, um, King's Quest Mask of Eternity or, um, uh, Escape from Monkey Island. Those were the two that were just like, oh, the, the, mm. Yeah, it, it gets, some of them get pretty bad before they're like, oh, hey, what actually worked? Where did we lose our, what? Okay. What? I do not know what just happened. I have no idea what just happened. I, I, I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't, I, I, I do not know what, what the fuck, what, what, what? What happened? Who did what and why? Uh, okay, you're good. You're not showing me any problems. Display. Uh, um, um, you, y yes, you're doing fine, you're doing fine, okay, you're doing fine, you are a little fucked up, I, d I, d I don't, well, yeah, wow, I don't know why, yeah, it was like, oh no, hey, th you don't, you're not connected, it's like, I have no dropped, no dropped frames, or anything like that. What the fuck happened? Yeah, uh, Child of the 80s, um, Scum VM is a great, it is a great thing. Um, I would recommend getting a standalone version of ScumVM versus the, um, versus what comes along with, packaged with things like good old games and stuff. It's just a whole lot easier to deal with, like, a standalone versus, versus, like, a pre-packaged one. So, alright, we need to rent the Honeymoon Suite. Uh, oh yes, I, I... You need two hundred dollars, baby doll. I have nine thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight dollars. That's a fortune in seventies and early eighties money. Thanks, Larry. You won't regret this. Meet me at the marriage chapel near the casino in a few minutes. I'll get us a room. Hurry, Larry. I can't wait. I'm sure you can. I am actually really looking forward to the new. Monkey Island, by the way. I gotta say, I am very much looking forward to the new Monkey Island. Yes, it has kind of that, that paper doll type, paper, cut out paper doll type of look, but it's not that, it's, it's not a big deal for me. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, um, uh, Fucking DOS box is shit. DOS box does not work with OBS. I have tried DOS box in so many different ways. It just it it really doesn't work with OBS. It is a bitch and a half to get it to work with OBS. Um so yeah, I mean that's that is yeah. Scum VM is the way to go if a pro if a if if a game will work with Scum VM, 
That's the way to go. That's what, actually what I'm using tonight. I'm playing this through Scum VM right now, so it's like, yeah. It's, right, it's, it's barely over five dollars. Over barely over five hundred. You're saying twenty dollars. Last time it was like six twenty, and you're like, oh yeah, um, uh, you, you, you owe me uh, sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollar. Make you holla. Your heart fills with eager anticipation as you see your lovely bride fawn waiting for you at the end of the aisle. You've always been a sucker for beautiful weddings, and you feel sure this one will be your most special wedding of all. Oh, you have no idea how special it's gonna be, especially since I... Who the fuck is that that is marrying you? It's sure shit not Elvis. What the fuck? I thought we were in like a version of Las Vegas. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of uh, 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 each other. Twitter, these two people in the eternal bonds of marriage. Wait, where is the, where is the, the, there is no witness here? There is no witness. I, 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 I contest the marriage. I contest the marriage. There is no witness here. But before we may really get rolling, I'd like to say a few words. Many is the marriage that I performed here in this little chapel, wearing this cheap suit before these shiny plastic covered pews, with this electric, with these electric candles, looking at those genuine pe plexiglass stained glass windows, for these measly few, wait, I gave her $200, no, wait, the $200 was to rent the, oh, oh. Oh, he's drunk! Respect, father. <laughs> Where was I? Digressing. Oh, yes, I was. I digress a lot. I, ooh, I will gress all the dies. Uh, oh, well, have you got a ring? A thousand dollars? Yep, she's wearing it. Good enough for me. We got a hundred bucks. Well, of course, a hundred dollars for a marriage. I mean, that's that's actually. I think that was actually pretty cheap even back in the day. Like marriages don't run cheap. It's like, oh yeah, you could literally buy all the stuff, all the decorations that would normally be in a marriage for like at least a quarter of the price of. Proper marriage grade stuff. It's like, oh yeah, tablecloths. You know, you, you might be able to buy a tablecloths for 25 bucks. You say, if you go to a marriage store, oh no, tablecloths, $200. Everything is so much more expensive when it's for a wedding versus like everyday fuckery. It's, yeah, it, it, it was, yeah, it's, it's, even that, yeah, it's, it's like, it's like, dude, we're, we're paying you to say a few words, that's, that's fucking it, that's, that's it. Hey, no worry, oh, let's see here, um, let me skip some of this. Oh, well, let's cut to the chase. Now I pronounce you man and wife till death do you part or until you get tired of each other per the currently acceptable social standards. I believe that is going to be in about, um, five to ten minutes. Kind of, yes. It, it really is, it really does feel kind of like the, the, the Flash Gordon marriage, yeah. You may get a bride. Oh, boy. And with that, he disappears by the altar to refill his flask. Not now. That kissing stuff can wait. Uh, that is to seal our to, to seal our our um, 
our matrimony ma'am, mi mi miss, Mrs. Mrs. Fun left laugher. That is that is how we signify that yes, we both agree. We are sealing it with a kiss. So uh, if we don't kiss, we aren't actually married, right? <laughs> I'll go to our room right now and get everything ready for a big night, F says Fawn knowingly. You meet me in the casino's hotel honey room, ca casino hotel's honeymoon, honeymoon suite as soon as you can, and I give you much more than my ki than kisses, my passionate polyester. Peacock. I'm sorry, has my zipper been opened? God damn it, this fucking pair of pants. Hey, wait for me! Somehow this entire ceremony was less than you expected. The sacred bonds of marriage certainly get tied loosely in this joint. It's lost wages, yeah. By the way, can we just duck back behind the altar with the, with with the uh, the 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 uh, with, with with the padre, and just like fucking just, oh wait wait what? Uh, wait, is my breast stinking again? God damn, Larry! Do you eat oysters when I stop to talk? What the fuck are you eating, sir? Ah yes. Banaka! It's gonna burn! It tastes like fire! Uh, <laughs> actually, if I remember right, Banaka back in the day did just like taste like fucking burning. Was it for. Yes! Oh my god, I am good! Hello, baby doll! Just a minute, Larry! Come on in, the door's open. I'm here. Come, baby. I agree with that. Larry should not be so trusty, but then again, this is the second woman that Larry is going to sleep with. Um in it both in his life and tonight. So he is he is not exactly uh <laughs> He is, he is, oh, Larry, I've been waiting patiently right here on the bed just for you. Oh, baby, baby. you know I could use a little wine to help me get in the mood, Larry. Of course you can, because you're a fucking harlot. Is it listening? He says, oh, yes, little Barry Manilow. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe, uh, what, what, what the fuck was that? Uh, did I just, like, did I turn, s there shouldn't be anything, like, inside of you, that, that, that technology, you are listening to the e easy listening stage, okay, seriously, what the fuck are you twitching about? You would think the least a, a bottle. Well, yeah, but I mean, I know there's something we're supposed to be doing. There's like, ah, uh, yeah. I oh, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm like, I know there's, I know it's like, the rate, I knew that the radio station was supposed to tell us the, the phone number to get the wine. We have to be very, very careful not to go in a cab with the wine. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, Ajax Wine, 80555830 not 8309. This is no time at two tone, bitches. And there's no phone in the hotel. Of course, there's no phone in the room. 
There's no phone in the fucking room, of course. Can I use this? No, this is, uh, this is, nope. It is chewing gum in the slot. Fucking cock monkeys. This is just, a, this is a perfect example. I will admit, I will admit, Stu, that was, that was very good timing. I knew it, I knew it was the radio. I knew it was the radio. I just, it's like, I'm, I, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm very impatient. So we have to go outside, uh, the convenience store. No, I don't piss on the driver. Go to the convenience store. Convenience store, sir. Oh yes, Larry is Larry is Larry is not a um Larry is not a very confident man. He is he is not a very confident man. He is um five 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 eight oh three nine. Hello? Bow fucking, oh my god. Hello, Ajax Liquor Store. Wait, are you like the liquor store of Ajax from Deadpool, Ajax from Duckman, or Ajax like the cleaning company? Because if your wine has soap in it, I have a problem. If any of your liquor has, like, detergent in it, I have a problem with that. We deliver. I'd like to purchase some fine wine. Hey, you got it the right guy. Where'd you want it delivered? Uh, to, to the casinos... Oh, Casino Hotel's honeymoon honeymoon suite, and step on it. Okay, consider it done. I send one of my hottest young. Wait, uh, hey, thanks. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Did you, did you, did you say your hottest, hot, hottest young? Yeah, why did you say hottest young man? Why, why, why are you, why are you sending the, why are you sending hot young men to the honeymoon suite? Uh, get, get, get to the casino and fast step on it. I, the, no, go fucking light speed, go plaid. Fucking just go, get there quickly because my fiat, my my newlywed wife, may be fucking some like hot, uh, apparently like hot delivery guy that's that's like delivering some fine wine, and I'm not okay with this. I, I, okay, I've never particularly had fine wine. I, you know. Well, that's, that's a good, yeah. I mean, Graham is pretty competent. Graham is pretty competent. But then again, so is, so are the, uh, so is the, um, the, the, the hero in King in Quest for Glory is, is pretty competent. I mean, he he kind of wavers back and forth at times, but he is pretty competent. Um, a whole lot better than like fucking Larry or um, I mean, even even Laura Bow was kind of like 
she knew shit was going down, but she wasn't like really connecting what she wasn't connecting the dots. She was just kind of like, Ooh. okay, yes, yeah, Sunny Bonds. Sunny Bonds was pretty decent for the most part. If I remember it though, in in either the second or the third game, Sunny Bonds kind of like lost the the thread. It was like, no. <coughs> Everything's fine. He had a few moments where it was like, no, dude, you are you are seriously fucked up. <laughs> Do not even try and tell me that you know what the fuck's going on. Oh baby, is that you? You're back! Coming in, you wonderful hunk. Here I come, baby! Oh, Larry, it's you! I thought it was that cute young delivery boy. Oh, yeah, the delivery boy totally just, like, banged the sh... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! I think this is where we are going to, uh, I think this is where we are going to probably end for tonight because I just realized I kind of fucked, oh my god, this is, this is classic Sierra. This is classic Sierra. Classic Sierra, prime Sierra uh, thing. Because we are kind of fucked. We, we are, we are, we, we are fucked. We, we are fucked. Oh, I'm having so much PD. P no, that never happened with me with the, 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 that never happened with me with the delivery guy. Albeit, I have had, I, 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 I have had kind of that same thing type of thing going, but no, I realized we are fucked because we didn't buy any cheap wine and give it to the hobo. We didn't buy any cheap wine from the convenience store and give it to the hobo where the hobo would give us a, a pocket knife and we need the pocket knife. I'm just gonna say we need the pocket knife. So she's like, oh, hey, big bolt. Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, save, 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 save. Okay, you stay here, sweetie. I need to go get some, I need to go get some cheap wine. I need to go get some cheap wine. I'm gonna go get some cheap one. I'm gonna give it to a hobo. And I don't, sweetie, honey, love of my life, apparently, don't ask why I'm not like, you know, consummating our marriage quite yet. Uh, <laughs> I need to go and give a hobo some cheap ass wine. Oh, right. Uh, I, you probably want to know where to go. Uh, convenience store. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh shit. I'm like, I thought it was like one of those. Nope, it's a beeline to you. You are banging in the bed with the ribbons and it's going to end badly for, for, for you. Without the knife, it's like, oh fucking, oh, oh god damn, I was, I was, this is, this is key Sierra paranoia. This is very key Sierra paranoia. All right. Cardboard box of fine wine. <laughs> oh, I kind of was, Stu, I kind of was, like, no, Sierra games will at C old old school Sierra games will absolutely give you fucking PTSD. Cause like when you realize that hey, you were supposed to go 
you were supposed to go to, to person B after person A and then go to person D. It's like, oh, I, oh, 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 fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the, the Sierra games do have a certain level of PTSD because you could absolutely just like, you could soft lock yourself out of winning the game a dozen different ways. Like if you slept with the hooker before you, before you got a condom, you would stand up like nothing was, like nothing was wrong. But the moment that you left the room, you know, your penis would go pop. Because apparently that's what STDs did back in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, <laughs> Here's your dollar. One dollar make you all a... All right, Mr. M Mr. Yes, you, I, I know because I know for a fact, I know for a fact, if we get in a cab, the cabbie has a taste for wine and he would guzzle down our cheap wine and then crash the car. It is save often and save often and in different slots. All right. Mr. Wino! I ain't got no remote. Wait, how did you know about the remote? Is there a secret cabal of like drunken slovenly beggars? Is that the real secret of what lost wages? I tell you what. Hash my costume pocket knife. You never know. There's some kinky girls in this town. Sexy hunks like us must have to defend ourselves sometimes. Uh, yes. And with that, he stumbles off into the darkness. Okay, so now we have the knife. We have the knife. Thank you, Lord. Because we're actually, we're, I don't think, if I remember right, we're not that far from the end of the game. We're actually not that far from the end of the game. We gotta go back to the Honeywoods, honeymoon suite. We have to get tied up uh, in order to get some sort of rope. Um, they're gods! What the? F Wait, that's more. The the the, the meter said has more than what we, what we we what, than what it said to get from the casino to the convenience store. But you're charging us less. Oh yeah, we do need to gam we do need to gamble because we are gonna need to use the ta we do need to use the taxi cab. Right. Right, fuck. I was hoping to get away from God damn it, I was hoping we were done with the gambling shit. Ugh Casino gambling is a fucking it is a whole bunch of bullshit. If you could really, if you were very likely to win a shit ton of money, you would, you would, oh, oh, Larry, I've been waiting patiently right here on the bed for you. Yes, let's, uh, aren't you going to pour the wine? Oh, uh, uh, you know what? You know what? I, I am, I am going to save. I am going to save because we have not saved in a while. All right, here, let me, uh, let me pour you so why? Ghosts and goblins. Oh my fucking God. No, no, no. I played that on the Commodore 64 back in the day. Ghosts and goblins can... Ghosts and goblins can take a big spiky gauntlet right up the fucking caboose. And just like, I'm hoping that it rusts and then is pulled out so that they get tetanus, curl up into a little ball, unable to move, and fucking die. 
Ghost and Goblins was a fucking nightmare of a game. It was fucking horrible. Oh no. Ghosts and Goblins was like, yes, it's, it is, oh no. I. The, 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 the people who, the people who made Ghosts and Goblins should, should absolutely just like, no, they should get the worst imaginable disease that doesn't kill them, but makes them just like, live through torment for the longest time. It was fucking bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't hate Capcom. I hate, I hate the people, I, I hate the individuals, like the, the programmers and the designers of Ghost and Goblins. Like I said, especially the, the fucking Commodore 64. Where it's like, oh no, hey, oh, you got touched by a skeleton. Now you're in your underwear. It's like, what the, how the fuck did they get, how the fuck did they get me into my underwear out of fucking plate mail armor? Oh yeah, that's that's yeah. There's there's a lot of there's there's a lot of companies that do that where it's like, oh hey, you can get a pretty decent ending, but it's not the good ending because hey, you you haven't done quite enough yet. So yes, we're pouring pour some wine, baby. Oh yeah. God damn, Larry. You're supposed. Wine is supposed to be savored, not glugged down like an alcoholic like me. Admittedly, I do generally have, I do generally drink wine out of like a pint glass. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, oh, that feels nice. Presumably a little foreplay never hurts. Okay, uh, can we like fucking get down to business? Use your dick on her, Larry! <laughs> like, god damn. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like, oh no! Put your hand on- Ah, pretty, pretty! Ah, soft, sexy. And it's like, oh hey! Alright, now it's up your pants and put your dick on her. Cause that's... I, I, I mean, technically she's your wife, but I. Lay down, Larry. Nothing bad will happen. Close your eye. No. Censored. Oh, dear God. Oh, fun. Oh, baby, that feels so good. Ow. I am probably actually making this less, uh, less, less general audience friendly than, than, than the game is, honestly, because I'm like, I, say fun, aren't you gonna get undressed? Your breath smells like the, uh, I can't ex, I, I can't exactly pull my banak out of my fucking pants and spray my mouth right now, fucking dick. Hey, what are you doing with the ribbon? <gasps> oh, oh, I see. We're gonna get kinky for our first time. It's not gonna be for. Ah, uh, that, that's, that's, that's not looking kinky. That is looking like domestic abuse. But um, I'm not gonna get into it. When Fawn has you securely tied to the bed, she leaps up from the bed, grabs your wallet, and says, You forgot to pay me for the why. Oh, there's a lot of games these days. It's like, yeah, you, 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 before any, before you make any choice, you create a save. It's like, you have like, like within half an hour of gameplay, it's like you have a good 
50 save points. It's like, oh, it's it's kind of fucking ridiculous at times. Came to $9,452, including the tip. How much did he charge you to put the tip in, bitch? What the fuck? Like, how much did he charge for you to get the tip? Wait, fun, come back. This is our wedding night. So long, sucker. You know, Larry, you know, I, I kind of, I can't help but feel like Larry Laffer was at least partially the, um, at least partially the, uh, the, the, the basis of George Costanza. I know George Costanza was mostly, mostly modeled after Larry David, one of the creators of Seinfeld, one of the writers of Seinfeld, to the point where Larry David literally used like examples of his life in the, for, for that, but yeah. I mean, yeah, dude, dude charged nine, over 9,000 to give her the tip. It's like, God damn. Fun, come back. This isn't funny. Huh, does this, does it count if he consummates by himself? No, because otherwise she would have, like, she, sh you would technically legally be married to her. And she would have 50% take in everything you make from here on out so no well the honeymoon's over now see this is where we needed the knife because we got to take the knife right using the pocket knife you got from the old bum by the convenience store you saw through the ribbon hole how okay number one where were you keeping the hobo's knife I mean, that's the thing. George Cassandra kind of did. He was supposed to go to an interview, so he's wearing a really nice suit and stuff. And, it, the, it, you know, he's reading this newspaper and looking at, like, you know, it turned to the stock market page to be impressive. And this gal's like, oh, so you're in the stock market, huh? Well, huh, how about we go back and talk business? And she takes him back to a hotel room. Ties him up, looks at his wallet, is like, you've got nothing. You've got like 20 bucks. What the fuck? And so she takes his brand new, like, you know, multi, multi hundred dollar suit and walks off. And he's like, you know, he's. <laughs> it was, it was, yeah, because. George Cassandra actually in Seinfeld went through like this exact same type thing. Although I will say, I don't think Larry Laffer ever killed his fiance by buying cheap envelopes that used poisonous glue and had her lick them. So I think Laffer is actually ahead of Costanza. I, yeah, I, I think, uh, I think, I think Laffer is actually in a better place overall than George Costanza, which is fucking sad to say. So, oh my god, why are you like, why are you tossing it in the air? What the fuck was all that shit, dude? And how many times are you gonna have to see your ass? You grab your wallet and look inside. Oh, well. At least she didn't find the 10 bucks you hid in the secret compartment with you con with your consummate gambling skills. You should be back on your feet in no, in no time. Ooh, ooh uh, a little burpee here. Oh, shit. Was I supposed to get in? Fuck! Okay. Yes, I was. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm like, the moment that it was like, so you jiggle the, you jiggle the handle to make sure that it's locked. And I'm like, oh fuck. Oh fuck, what did I forget? What did I forget? God damn you fucking idiot. You son of a bitch. 
God damn you, Sierra. All right, that's enough foreplay. Lay the pop, Larry. And I do have, I do, I do have the knife. I do. Ooh, yeah. This is why we love Sierra games. We just, we, we love, we love Sierra games. So we, we love Sierra games. They really challenge us. They make sure that when you fuck up, you goddamn know it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is this is a red moment. It's like you, you idiot, you bloated sack of protoplasm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She ties him up. Okay, well, you forgot to pay me for the wine. I'm taking all your money, you stupid little bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I understand. I understand. I get it. You're, you, you're, you're, you, 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 dude, it was never supposed to be your wedding night. You're not actually married. You are not married, okay? Fucking, ugh. All right, night. Free yourself, free yourself, free your mind, and the rest will follow. Get dressed, because I don't need to see your ass again this time. Yes, 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 you have 10 bucks left. Pick up the ribbon. All right. Save. Because fucking paranoia, goddamn. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm like, oh my god, like, yeah, the moment, like I said, the moment that I saw it's like, oh yes, the door's locked behind you, I'm like, I can't get back. I was supposed to pick something up. I didn't pick anything up. Fucking cock monkeys. All right, so, save. Addiction! Because... But, uh, fuck it! I had 14! I had 14! Stan! Dealer wins! Because fuck me, apparently! God damn! If I, if I, if I had hit, I would have lost. If I stood, I fucking lost. Hit. That's 15. Uh, uh. Again, didn't matter. Did not fucking matter what I did. I was fucked either way. Five. Nine. 16. Fuck it. Dinner wins because of course. Fucking Christ Knuckles. Hey, I want 10 bucks. Yay. All right. F fuck you. Fuck. Just, just, just fuck you. At 16. Now watch. Hit. Look, no, no, oh. I'm so. Right? Thank you. Thank you, Stu. Thank you. Yes, that is fucking horse shit. <laughs> 18, Stan. Dealer wins because, oh my god, he got one might have been by sheer, just by sheer fucking luck. It's like, oh my god, bullshit. It's a bush, baby. 13, 16. Yeah. They really, I will say, I will say though, this is in line with most, uh, with most video poker shit. 
you 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 just you're 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 not gonna win. And of course, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to bet low. You're not supposed to bet all of your money. So it's like, oh yeah, six, uh, eleven. Yes. Fucking great! I won a whole twenty fucking dollars. Twenty! It's a bush! Who would have fucking thought? Stan. Cause yeah, I've got tw I, I've got a, again, I've got twenty. Yeah, this is this is this is the most grueling part. At least at least in Space Quest, they only had you do this once. You didn't have to do it twice. Twenty-one blackjack, bitch. Fuck you. You can't even fucking. Yes. Yes. I kind of. I mean, it. It. It may be. It may be a little. A, a little bit. A, a little bit selfish of me, but I kind of split them. Fucking eighteen stand. Nineteen stand. Oh, oh, and he just made it so that it's like, oh no, fuck you, fuck you. Split. Dan. Dan. Dealer busted, that means 400 in my pocket, motherfucking biatch. Oh yeah, now that's what daddy likes. Oh. Pay me twice, bitches. All right, you 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 you're actually gonna you're you're starting to be on my side now. You've started to realize that you're being a little fucking bitch boy about it, and like actually, nineteen dealer wit. Was it the bitch boy comment? Was it the bitch boy comment? It was the it it was it it was the bitch boy comment. You know what? I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't like being called bitch boy. Oh, split them, motherfuckers! Uh, I mean that's 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 18 stand uh stand You know what fuck you fuck no 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 you you don't get to you you don't get to pull that shit Dealer busted fuck yes fuck you Suck it mr. Electronic dealer Deal bitch I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I've got 21. I'm going to stand. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stand. Deal. Let's see. I'm, because I'm betting everything, I can't double down. Oh come on! No, he should have. He should have declared fucking. He should have declared fucking blackjack at the very beginning. That's kind of how things go. If you have blackjack, you declare it once you see it. it's like. Sorry, I got blackjack. Everybody fucking loses. Anybody who doesn't have blackjack, fucking suck it. I mean that's 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 kind of how. Oh my God, I'm. S 
Ah, oh, man. The compulsion. The compulsion has hit me. See, this is why I, I labeled it addiction. 17. I mean, yeah, I, I know, I know. I I will agree with that. I I, I, I will agree with that. I, I will agree with that. I mean, I, yeah, all right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Cash out, cash out, because it's 10,000. 10,000 is like the max, so. We need the, I mean, and we don't need much. We don't need much. Yeah, 10K is, is the max. That is the house limit. The rest they mail to you somehow without ever actually getting like your, your, your. Uh, yes, Lefty's bar. Yes, we need to go to the bar. Yeah. Somehow they, they they mail you the rest of your 10K, the, the, whatever you got over 10K, they mail to you without your name, address, or anything. I don't know how. I don't, I, 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 see that's why we needed to play because we got 25 bucks here. I mean, we probably could have gotten away with like, Fifty to a hundred dollars would have been more than enough. Yeah, oh, that is some bad breath. All right, I'm hitting the banaka, baby. Ah, what's the best one? Ken Senti. I am here to cancel your game. Ken Senti. All right, so now, yeah, 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 you're, you're, you are, wow, did we really do that good of a job that you are still smoking a cigarette afterwards? All right, tie it to yourself. Oh, yes, it's a lovely shade of pink, sir. Tie it to there. Yoink. Oh, oh you're just now, you just. The, the window is locked. What a shame. What a shame. Bash the fuck out. You subtly, subtle. How do you subtly smash a window? Like, unless you're wrapping that, that, that hammer up with like, you know, with, with like fucking cloth and stuff. So that it doesn't like, it's not as, as sharp of a slam. Got them, but what the heck are they? I don't know. That's a good question. What are they? They are, uh, even though portion of the, uh, um, you can still make out the Inish and FL. Oh, Spanish fly, right. They're roofies. They are, they are, I mean, okay, they're not quite roofies because they're not supposed to, I mean, it's supposedly, the idea of Spanish fly is it's not going to make somebody sleepy. It's going to just absolutely make somebody incredibly, undeniably horny. That is, that is, that is the goal of Spanish. Yo, taxi! Bring me in either Andy Kaufman or fucking Danny DeVito, okay? Wait, are you supposed to be a combination of the two? You look more like, uh, I don't even know who the fuck you look like. You look like somebody very scary. I will say that. You look like somebody very scary. Look, take me to the casino, Mac. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yes, yes I did. I did buy the apple. Which unlike, unlike softcore, uh, unlike the softcore game, you don't actually have to grow, you just like, yeah, you're, you just buy it. Capitalism, it's the 80s, baby. We got capitalism, we're buying anything and everything we fucking well want. All right.
But I want... You know, I have not... I haven't licked anything. To you, Bertha has no distinctive smell or taste. Sniffing your laser shoot thoroughly, you conclude there's nothing quite like the fragrance of fresh polyester. Do you, the baby, has no distinctive taste or smell? Does anything have a distinctive taste or smell? What the fuck? I mean, that, that's why, why, why let me taste something if you're just going to say, no, 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 there's no taste. Sorry, bucko. You can taste, but there's no taste. As opposed to uh, to uh, Love for Sale, where they actually did include like a a not a, a three by three grid scratch and sniff fucking thing, that was actually pretty cool. All right, well walk up to her, Larry. Look her in the eye if you can. I know her her. Her jacket is, I am, I am, I am guessing they have some double stick tape on her nipples to keep her jacket covering her nipples, cause dear gods, all she has to do is go like this and yeah, we're getting the free show. Hi baby, I think I love you. May I help you in some way, sir? Yes, yes, you can. My name's Larry. Larry Laver. Hi. La Say, Larry, is that a roll of dimes in your pocket? Or just yes, both. I have a roll of dimes because laundry day is tomorrow, and I am very happy to see you. Say, sweetheart, what's your sign? Exit. Try using it. Ooh. Feisty. What's your name? Faith. It's an unusual name. I tell you what, Faith. I have some energy pills that'll keep you going through the rest of your ship. Faith only gives Faith only gives the bottle a Spanish fly a quick glance before saying, Boy, thanks. How did you know I love this stuff? She tosses back a few pills, then a, then a few more, finally gulping down the whole bottle of Spa Oh my god. If Spanish Fly actually worked, she would be horny as a fucking... Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. There is no comparison as far as the... As far as, uh, as far as horniness. She be, She's... Her breathing becomes faster and faster. She begins to pant. Oh, who's a good little minx? Oh, you're blinking. She's getting really turned on. I would say Horny is Larry Laffer in any uh, around any given female. Like I, any given female and potentially Gary, because I uh, there was there was Gary in uh Gary in um. Shape up or ship out. <laughs> oh yes, the infamous Gary in Shape Up or Ship Out. That oh yes, if you tried to touch him too many times, Larry would say, "Fuck it, come on, Gary, we're starting a life together," and they'd walk off into the sunset hand in hand. And somehow that was a bad ending. It's like, dude, Larry found love. Fucking let him, let him, let him. Dude, if if all the women are like turning Larry down and Larry's like, you know what? Fuck the women. Let me try Gary. He is all hot for my body. And they live happily ever after. That's not a bad ending. That is, that is not a bad ending. If you can be happy with somebody for the rest of your life, that's not a bad ending in any fashion. So yeah, she's really turned on. Looks like tonight's your lucky night, Larry. Except for her name is Faith. I'm out of here. I've got to get home to my boyfriend before this stuff wears off. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. Shouts Faith across the hotel. We'll do it once for you. Thank you. 
twisting her key in the lock, she disappears down the unmarked employee stair. Why are you going down the stair? You're going down eight flights of stairs in heels like those? Are you fucking crazy? The fuck? At least take your heels off before going down eight flights of stairs. Like, my God. Sorry, Larry. It appears Faith is true to her name. Yes, she is. But she left open the transporter. Single person transporter. Where are we going now, Larry? Oh, and here is the point. Here is the point where they could conceivably de uh, age gate at least. At least age gate this because we have left and right. The nipeles. The areolas. Oh, and we've got uh, ooh, a portrait of Jesse Helms. What the fuck? I, is, this is colonoscopy? Now, of course, we do have to, we are obligated, we are obligated to open it's the flattest baby you've ever felt, Larry. Well, let's use our mouth on it. You huff and puff and blow oh, your doll up. Holding her out at arm's length, you admire your handiwork. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, ooh. yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm thinking, well, actually, actually, I do. I think they kind of address this in the second game. She is bisexual because if I remember right, she leaves Larry for a woman. So she is bisexual. So it's not, so it does, it would kind of make sense. Yes. Fucking yes. You've got you have a blow up doll that you just spent a cup, a good two to five minutes blowing up. Put your dick in it. All right, you asked for it. In fact, you asked for it twice. Here we go. Selecting your personal favorite from the three available openings, you're shy, you shyly try. Wait, how does he have a thing? He's had sex once. He's had sex once. How does he have a favorite? The woman who leaves, uh, if I remember right, the, uh, no, it's actually, it's like the repairman, uh, for the hot tub or something like that. It may actually be both of them, but I know he gets left for, he gets left both times. I, I'm wanting to say that it is, there is a, uh, uh, I think he get, I think it's kind of, cause it's kind of, it, I mean, at the time, this is one of those things where you have to realize it's kind of a kind of a time type thing. It's like, oh no, being left for a woman was the worst thing imaginable to a man because it was like, no, 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 you are such a horrible man that a woman would rather be with another woman. It's like, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's it's kind of yeah, it's. Yeah, it's 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 kind of one of those. Oh no, it's the worst case things. Because it was like in the second game they never actually got married. In the third game she actually had to f at the it, after in the third game, uh, the the princess actually has to perform like some kind of like a, um, some kind of a a a, a divorce ritual. That she does has done several times. Yeah, I, I, he gets he gets left every goddamn time. I think, I think the only time he doesn't get left, the only time he doesn't get left by somebody, uh, is. Oh God, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's uh, shape up or ship out. The last one, the last Sierra game that involved Leisure Suit Larry, he doesn't get dumped by the gal. She gets way too kinky for him, and he kind of bails of his own. Yeah, yeah, he, he bails of his own accord. 
No, Patty doesn't leave him. Patty doesn't leave him in the third. In the third one, we don't know what happens between the third and the fifth. But the fifth and the sixth, um, something happens that, like, yeah, it's. If I remember right, there's a miscommunication, and and Larry thinks he was dumped. Larry thinks he was dumped, so he leaves, and then Patty's like, "Yo, what, what, what the fuck happened?" No, no, that was between three and f three and five because we don't know what happened with four. So five and six, I don't know if they even really address what happened with Passionate Patty because they wind up together in at the end of five, but we don't know what happened between five and six. I mean, yeah, Larry can, Larry can screw anything up. Larry can absolutely. So yeah, uh, Larry does, this is to be the kinkiest thing you've done yet. Larry, that doesn't, that, that doesn't say much because I mean, seriously, Larry hasn't done much. You, you gradually increase your tempo and lose your animations, not to mention your self-esteem. Faster and faster you go until suddenly there's a loud, flatulent sound of... Okay, so she's just like, yeah, she's just like, fuck off. You're a loser, Larry. Not surprising. Now wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Isn't there something in? No, no, no. Hang, hang on. Hang, hang, hang. No, we're going. We're going back. To, we're going back to the bedroom, Larry. Isn't there? There's, there's, there's more in the fucking. There's. Oh, so they took. They took. They took Ken out of the closet. Oh, the switch? Is it the switch? Yeah, I think they took, I, I think they took Ken out of the closet. I think they took Ken out of the closet and put him in the and put him in Lefty's bar in the VGA version. Look at her. Beautiful black woman relaxes in a penthouse suite rooftop garden spa. You begin to get the feeling that you've that your evening in lost wages may be successful after all. He might. He, 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 he might. Yeah. Hey, gorgeous. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Larry. Larry Laffer. Well, hello yourself, Larry. What an attractive leisure suit. I so miss them. It's refreshing to meet a man with so much self-confidence that he's willing to flaunt the fickle trends of fashion, mores, and deeply travel the road of his own secure masculinity. Was she talking about you, Larry? That doesn't sound like... That, that doesn't sound right. Can I, uh... Well, uh... uh, uh well, uh, I, uh... I've always felt it is a... Look that's right for me. A man has to do what a man has to do, I always say. I agree completely. I'm so tired of men who wear and say anything just to gain a woman's favor. Ugh, uh... Mm. And I sort of love what you're wearing, Miss, uh... And a sense of humor. Larry, you are a special man. Why don't you slip into the water and we'll see if we can really get to know each other. Bow chicka wow wow. Uh, you don't have to ask me twice. Oh, what the hell? Fuck it. Just drop trow and... Oh, yeah. Wasting no time, you execute your previously, previously only pre-visualized spa hop, landing in the warm water. Ooh, it does it feel good. I don't know. Does it? Maybe the warm water feels really bad, especially the way you jumped in like anus first. 
there's gotta be some fucking pressure build up around there and that's not gonna feel good when that pressure just pops, baby. There's a reason why, like, you know, you, you have to kind of be careful when having sex underwater. It's like hydraulic pressure ain't no fucking thing. It's not, hydraulic pressure is not a joke. It's nearly as stimulating as the beautiful naked woman next, nearly. She can't be that beautiful if the warm water that you jump into feels nearly as good as her simulation. I'm sorry, but wow, they think that Larry is kind of a dick. With the warmth of the water soaking your body, you quickly become quite relaxed. And of course, per all the women in the game, you have to look at her first. You're like, ah, yeah, Ooh, what's this, baby? You shy, you slyly brush the spa bubbler control switch. Oh, yeah. Wait, I think I recognize these. I do believe I saw these. Wow, just the way you like your women near, nearby and naked. Dear God, you have no standards, Larry. You have no standards whatsoever. She has a beautiful face and a gorgeous body. You've waited a lifetime for this moment. Hi. Who loves you, baby? She says nothing, but her smile tells you bushels. Hint. Have you ever tried it underwater? She doesn't say. What's your name, gorgeous? She says nothing, but her smile. What's your sign? Yield. Although she smiles and appears, she's waiting for a few words. She's waiting for you to determine what sh what it is that she. So she wants bushels. She she's you know just just yeah bushels. Grab a booby. Grab a booby. Hey, don't rush things. You smell good, baby. What's that perfume you're wearing? Apple blossom. Hint, hint. Well, I no, I I I wanted you to talk to her. What I I just I, so so okay. So if if you were here at the very beginning, you remember we saw a lady uh, lounging in what looked like behind apple trees. We have her wait, you know, she's bushels and apple blossom. And if I remember right, uh, in in the in the EGA version and in the softcore version, her name it, it does say that her name is Evie is is E. So she is wanting she is very much wanting an apple. I I kind of I kind of I oh nope there we go there we go. Her hands rest near an expensive, fluffy bath towel embroidered with a florid script of the name Eve. Hint, hint, hint. So yes, bushels, apple blossom, Eve, plus the fact that she is very obviously the woman that was in, that is in the uh, the long, you know, the long picture in Left Lefty's bar. She, her name is Eve. She has a thing for apples. Eve takes the uh, takes her apple and with a sweet, innocent look, raises it to her mouth. She takes a small bite, then lowers her arm as a sexy smile comes over her face. She winks, then, almost imperceptibly, she lies back slightly, sliding deeper into the warm water and chews delicately. Don't sleep. No, no, you're supposed to buoy yourself up. We can only barely, we, we can't even really see the, the, the proper tip of the nipple. We can only see the very, very top little bit of the areola. That is not, that, that is not. Give her a banana instead. No, that's later, Stu. That's, that's, that's in a few moments. That's in a few moments. We, we will, we will absolutely give her a banana. Don't you worry. Long. Kind of a whitish yellow. Slight curve. 
Eve gently slips her sinuous tongue around and around the lucky apple. Tiny drips of the apple's juice glistens on her lips. She's really turned. She, this, this, this woman, I will say this. This woman is not inexperienced as far as pleasing another woman. She's not. I, she, she, she's just, she's not. And there's no shame in that. It is very obviously she knows how to work her tongue in and around bits and bobs. Especially like bits and bobs that are like, you know, more cavernous than, uh, than, 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 um, extruding. You had no idea fruit could be so exciting. Where the fuck have you been? Pomegranates have been like pomegranates generally pomegranates and cherries have been like the 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 fruit of banging for a long time. Granted, pomegranates also have kind of the Greek idea of death as well, but I mean, you know, pomegranate juice was usually used to paint cave walls for the first uh the the first um um ideas of just purely sex caves, so, yeah. After a few bites of your apple, Eve slowly slides out of the hot tub, her steamy, naked body glistening in the moonlight, barely covering her tremendous assets with the towel. She tosses you a towel, smiles and motions for you to follow her. If you wanted me to follow you, you should, ne you should never have picked up a towel. Why, why, why did you even pick up a towel? <laughs> Say, Larry, you really are glad. Yes, that towel should not be standing out like that. Oh, well, and, and never mind. It appears to be gone. Was that just a fluke? I mean, Larry, were you like, did you have your hand in there and just like, you know, hoping she wouldn't notice? She, she, she's going to notice when you take the towel off and, or just lose the towel as you clamp. Yes, please cover your ass, you fucking freak. And whoa, boy, this time there's fireworks to denote that he is. Um. Uh, he is extremely excited, and I do believe that there is, um, there are other versions of explosions that are happening. I'm pretty sure that's what they mean. Okay, congratulations, Larry, you've finally done it. You've successfully completed your evening <laughs> lost wages, lost your virginity, and emerged victorious. He lost his virginity hours ago. He lost his virginity over two hours ago. Just because, just because he found somebody that he could love. The, the, I mean, come on. Of course, your feeling of success is short-lived when this... Since this is where Ken Williams has to tell you about all the wonderful sequels to this game that you now are required to play. I was going to play him anyway, you fucking cocksuckers. Hey, Ken, come on out of here and give me your pitch. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, from Sierra Online. And I don't remember what the fuck they call their new company, but Ken Williams. Out of the white dress shirt and blue jeans from the bar. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken, Mr. Ken Williams. Yeah, Cygnus. Thank you, Cygnus. I already did that bit. God damn it. Catch it. Keep up, game. God. Hiya, folks. The, as CEO and the, of a major software publisher, you might think that I'm above pitching products for Al Lowe. No, he kind of made Sierra what it was, since he was very instrumental in Mickey's Space Adventure and Donald Duck's Playground, um, which are two of the games that actually really got me into Sierra on, you know, into the idea of Sierra games 
Allo's been do Allo did you right. Allo absolutely fucking did you guys right. Way back in the day. Long before Leisure Suit Larry. And he and and he went on to do Torrance Passage, Freddie Farkas. Um, he did a lot of shit. He was ve- he was a major player. And if they, and I will say, if their new company doesn't get Outlaw back to do a fucking game, oh, I'm 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 kind of I'm kind of gonna be pissed if they don't get some of the if they don't get some of their old programmers and old game creators back and be like, look, hey, we got a fucking we we got a company again, bitches. Let's fucking do it like we did back in the day and show people what the fuck's up. I will be very very pissed. I, I will I, I I'm just I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I I will be I will be very pissed. I I will be uh, I I will be I I will be quite pissed. So what do you pitch? Uh, boy, would I? Would you be wrong? I don't want to be pushy, but in my humble opinion, I think you owe it to yourself to run out to your local 24-hour software store right now and grab yourself a copy of every chapter in the now seemingly never-ending saga of Larry Laffer, of Larry, Larry Laffer, Aloe's lovable lounge lizard. What, there were, I mean, at, at this point, there was, what, there was... Four games total. You would really enjoy Leisure Suit Larry too. Looking for love in several wrong places, in which you help Larry abandon his lounge lizard ways and find true love on a breathtakingly very le- breathtakingly beautiful tropical paradise cut called Nani Non Tuni Night Tonight None Tonight. Island. In spite of the efforts of the KGB and the devil, do, evil Doctor No Nookie, or maybe you prefer pa- Leisure Suit Larry Three, passionate Patty, in the pursuit of the pulsating pectorals, in which you play part of the game as Larry and also part as Passionate Patty, a woman that is everything Larry is not, and it's everything Larry does not too. So she has charisma, charm, sexual appeal. Uh, th- th- there's, 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 there's a lot that Larry doesn't have. There, there is a lot Larry doesn't have. I was going to say, I knew they went to at least number five because the point-click interface. But I really hope you select my personal favorite and the latest one uh, at the time. Leisure Suit Larry 5, Passionate Patty does a little undercover work in which Patty truly becomes into her own, helping the FBI clean up the entertainment industry while Larry must find the sexiest woman in America for his employer... That hot new syndicated television program, America's Sexiest Home Videos. Dear gods, no. I have seen some of those home videos. They are not sexy. Get the fuck out of here, you sick son of a bitch. You may wonder what ha- why I didn't mention Leisure Suit Larry Four, the missing floppy. I will say, yeah, Leisure Suit Larry 2 is pretty good. After now going from like a point and click game like this back to like Leisure Suit Larry 2. I mean, even Leisure Suit Larry 3, but Leisure Suit Larry 2 in particular, it's like that is a pretty huge downgrade. That is a very, very big downgrade. Me too. The problem is, we don't know where it is. You know me, if I could find it, I'd sell it. Yes, Ken, we know. You're a money whore. You are, you, you would, you, you would double over and suck your own dick for money. We get it. 
I mean, it, it, yeah, it does, it does go a kind of a ways to kind of show the lengths that Larry will go to and the things that it, Larry won't do. But yeah, it, it really feels too serious. I mean, Leader Suit Larry 2 always, to me, felt too serious. Like, it's like, oh no, he, yeah, he, he kind of stumbles into a, this, 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 like, this spy thing, but it's like, yeah, but... It's not like he was, you know, it's not like he's a, a a big doofus and just like, you know, absolutely fucking everything up like he does in five. It always feels, it always felt too serious for a Leisure Suit Larry for me. But we'll probably deal with that, but we'll, we're going to deal with that tomorrow. We'll, we'll deal with, we'll deal with that one tomorrow. Oh my God. Leisure Suit Larry and his quest for the perfect hair. Now let's hear about you. What do you got for me? Uh, oh, uh, are we leaving these two? I mean, don't get me wrong. That room has got us. Thank. Oh, wait. I forgot to tell you how well you played. I have 200 out of 220. I missed 22 points. You played okay, I guess. On behalf of Al, Marge, Ken, Roberta, Oliver, and Lisa, Mike, and Laura, Bill, and Patty, Bob, and Janine, and Ted, and Alice, thanks for playing, and be sure to tell each and every one of your friends to buy their own copy of this game. Actually, an interesting side note, you can actually get this game, you can actually get the entire, uh, I know you can get the entire Leisure Suit Larry. I know you can get the entire Leisure Suit Larry. Um, oh my God, no, no, surely not. Greatest Hits and Misses is for $9.99. That is, uh, mm, why, why are you, why are you so, no, 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 down, down, there you go, there we go, okay, yes, now, fucking, why can't I scroll, why can't I scroll, what the fuck did you do, what did you do, what did you do, you fucking dicks, anyway, probably about 10 to 15 dollars would get you the entire Leisure Suit Larry series. From good old games in particular, I know that's the case. Um, I think Wet Dreams Don't Dry and stuff like that are, uh, obviously they are not. So yeah, uh, Wet Dreams Die Twice is $6.99. Wet Dreams Don't Dry is $2.99. Uh, the retro bundles eight dollars and ten cents on uh, on Steam. So yeah, eight dollars and ten cents. That includes Leisure Suit Larry One, uh, the original Leisure Suit Larry Two, Three, Five, Seven, which is Love for Sale. Uh, Magnicum Loud and Six Shape Over Slip Out. I don't know if it comes. Wow, does it not come with the VGA remake? Is it all just the retro stuff? That's kind of weird, really. That is that is actually kind of weird. Like I, you would think that they'd be like that. They would have like um, that. They would be like, oh hey, you know this is. You know, we're, we're, we are, we are absolutely going to, you know, we're, 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 we're going to deal with, um, we're, we're going to, we're, you know, we, we are going to push the, the remastered stuff, especially if we're going to be talking about like, you know, anything after Leisure Suit Larry 5, it's like once 5 came out, then they went back and remade the first one. Because, hey, we can do point and click, we can do VGA graphics, we can do so much better than what we had. Let's do it. But yeah, Leisure Suit Larry 2 will be coming tomorrow. Uh, that is Leisure Suit Larry uh, looking for love in several wrong places. Not all the wrong places, just several. 
just several, we do manage to get some, at least one right place. I, I, I are, are you kidding me? Oh, oh, you're, you're back now? You're gonna behave now? You too, you motherfucker. <laughs> There's nothing quite like starting to do the outro and being like, oh, hey, no, apparently it is not getting, in, nobody's getting any of the stuff that I'm sending out. Fantastic. So, yes, tomorrow we're going to be playing Leisure Suit Larry 2, looking for love in several wrong places. Not all the wrong places, only several, only most of the wrong places. Mostly wrong places. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Stu's Game Review, Gamer's Grotto, Child of the 80s, and Eevee Hero. <gasps> And all the lovely lurkers, all the people watch after the fact. If you like the video, don't forget to pop the like button. If you're new here, don't forget to pop the subscribe button. If you want to be kept to date of when we go live, when we do new videos and stuff like that, make sure to ring the bell. But also check out the social media links down below, the Facebook page and the Twitter account, where I always make sure to notify you of when we go live, when we put up new videos and stuff like that. Also... The uh, permanent invite to the Discord server where we talk about all kinds of weird and wacky shit. Oh, yes, Rasklin, too. I forgot about your ass. Sorry. All of that so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. Cheerio!